what's going on you guys welcome back to my channel welcome back for another episode review of survivor y'all this is season 46 episode 5 cheeky man of course i'm back with my survivor soul sister miss Janet. hey hey how you doing love i'm good how are you <laughs> it's wednesday no it's today wednesday it is wednesday it is. I doesn't feel like it. It doesn't. We're late for this review, but this will be a, a super treat for you guys, okay? Because you're going to get this, and then you'll get the other one as soon as we get that one done. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're not going to hold y'all for too long. This episode was good, okay? Very happy with the way that it ended. It ended the way that it needed to have ended. What yes. else that went on this episode? But it was it's it kind of felt like a filler, but then again mm -hmm. at the same time it gave what needed to have been given to get us prepared for this new episode that's coming out with the big merge. That's it. Because I am we are at the that's merge. it. You know what? Before we get into it, it uh, by now I'm sure everybody that's watching this has already seen the episode. If you have not, quick spoiler alert. Being that Nami has never been to tribal council, how do you think they're going to do when it comes to this merge? It feels like, I feel like uh, Yanu has the advantage because they are the only tribe that's really experienced all of the first 12 days of Survivor. Yeah. They're the only ones. Uh, with the exception of them losing somebody, they have yet to go because they're all stars apparently. <laughs> all going to the Olympics <laughs> for no reason. Hey, that good, okay. <laughs> um, you know, I think they're gonna. I think it's gonna be a shit show for them when they when they oh, yeah. finally have to point somebody out. It's gonna be a scavenger hunt to see w who's gonna be voting with who. Now it's going to get to the point to where they're going to have to start. There's no them. more friends. Yes, it's been a kumbaya. By day 12, there's no more friends. Yeah. As soon as that merge happens, bye-bye. Like, I, get, I clean slate. I get to make new connections and new networking. Yes. And Venus I, is going to be all over. <laughs> like we said, like we said, in like episode one or two of our review, we said that because mm -hmm. she she is freaking out. That is the first thing we watch going into this episode. It, it really is her and Hunter. Venus is going to be Tevin and Hunter's worst nightmare. Yeah, they thought it was going to be Soda. Yeah. Nope. It's going to, I got a feeling. Now, Soda's not out the bag just yet, but Tevin, I still stand on what I said. I think he was a little bit premature with throwing Soda's name oh, out. Yeah. <laughs> and I just think Venus is going to, Venus is going to get their ass watch. Wow. She's, she's been making moves this whole time. The only thing is, it's just the one person she really connected with got hurt. Yep. So she's been on the outs this whole time. And it was she's a free agent. Exactly. And and I don't know if maybe it was a blessing in disguise. I mean, kinda, I don't know, because Brandon, he only trusted her because he had no other doubt. He basically she was like his Joe Biden both. I wanna go for Trump, but I'm gonna go for the less of the I mean, you know what I'm saying? I ain't mm -hmm. like Trump. I might as well go with her because I ain't got no other choice. But <laughs> so Let's start with the Yana tribe. They are fresh off okay. of the Banu vote. Okay, it's the final three. They are going on day eleven. Now, when they no actually, Flint, no Flint, no Flint, they will go down in history if they no by by now eleven days with no Flint. So they are the first tribe in. I, did he say the first tribe in the history of this new era that has gone this long with no Flint, no fire? No hot food. Like, what are they eating though? Because you know they they have. I know. To How can you go eleven days without? They ha it's it's some it's probably the ants. It's probably coconuts. I'm. You know what? Yeah, I bet you it's coconuts. I bet you it is because 
Um, I don't even think they got rice yet. No, because you have to cook the rice. That's what I was saying. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. You know, in Survivor history, that's the one. That's the one food that they supply them with is the rice. And if they find the coconuts, or if they find fruit or whatever that's on the island, you know that's what they get. But the broadcast or the production provides them with rice. You mm -hmm. ain't got no fire. So what the hell have y'all been eating for eleven days? Are you what was the was just on to something? She really was eating ants. I don't know. Oh, what that's wild to me. Wild. But they didn't even step in for uh, what's her name? Is it Lisa that's allergic to everything? <clears throat> um, or Mariah? I, I get those two mixed yeah, up, Mariah. and I don't mean to at all, yeah. but like they haven't even stepped in for her either. So I don't know what's going on, but I, I mean, we'll get into it, but that's, that's just unheard of. At least like, come on, there has to be some behind the scene. Mm -hmm. Something because it can't even really just be, I don't know. I, I know that the, now the no comfort, maybe, you know what I'm saying? Not have, because they got. Well, they automatically get a machete. It's just the flint that they don't have. Okay, because I was like, they got a shelter built though. So how they get the shelter built? So I guess they, they, you know, must give them a machete and all the essentials that they'll need to make their own shelter. But the flint, yeah, you just asked out with that. Now Q is trying to psych Kenzie out. He's trying to think ahead. He's saying if they end up going to the merge, he wants. He doesn't want her to play her shot in the dark, so that way mm -hmm. him and Tip can take her out if need be. So he's just throwing it out there because they're all feeling discouraged and he throws it out there to Kenzie. Kenzie's like, well, you wouldn't want to give up now. He was like, I don't know. I might. And that sort of right. wanted to plant that in her head, which I thought that was smart because Kenzie thinks that her and Tip are like this. Mm -hmm. But Tip and you are like this too. So if she already thinks, and like Kenzie even said in her confessional as well, well, hell, if he wants to go home, that's just a better shot for me. Which was smart on him because when he first he said that, I was like, "What is really, Coach? You really gonna give up like that?" And so he was in his confessional, and he was like, "No, this is you know, I, I I'm never gonna give up, even if I fall out and die. I'm never gonna give up, which is good because I'm gonna say, Black man, if you bring your ass out here to this white folks jungle and you give up, you ain't never gonna hear that shit goddamn down. You ain't never gonna live it down. But I th I think that was smart the way he just sort of threw that out there just in case so she won't play her little shot in the dark." Then over at the Sega tribe, Ben and Charlie, you know, they sort of connected their little bromance from the, the sharing of the different album covers, you know, the Taylor versus Metallica. Song off. Yeah. Song off. Yeah, the song <laughs> off. I like that. <laughs> now you got Tim, who's also really cool with Ben as well. Tim wants to sort of do an all male alliance and he mm -hmm. wants to bring Charlie in to what you know, him and Ben got going down. Now, mind you, Charlie is cool with the quote unquote Charlie's Angels, which is Maria, Liz, and no, no, not Liz, Maria. Mo, Mo, Mo and again, I yeah. know. Yeah. Now, mind you, Mariah still put that little fit, the little, little tidbit out there that Tim is the one that possibly has the idol or was possibly the one that, that hit the idol. Again, the way Jim, Gemma set that whole scheme up, trying to hide the idol, she didn't really think about that through. No, she, she did not. No, she didn't. And she let the joke go on way too long, in my opinion. And, was, so I've seen my teammates getting bit by ants. I'm going to say something. Say something. I'm like, girl. Like, I, the joke's over after 15 yeah. minutes. <laughs> How it is. I need mean, somebody to help me do this math. <laughs> but the thing about it is, Tim ain't fucking stupid. Tim, no, knows not at all. That's that yep. is up. He even goes and he sort of pulls her off to the side, and he's walking with Jim. And he was like, "So, shoot, you want to tell me how you hit that idol?" That's I it. The way he said it was like my mama. She knew. He knew she was gonna lie. It was a. It was a question to trap her. Like you, it damned if you do, and damned if you don't. And like is, that, and she played right into it. She was like, "Huh? Did I do what? <laughs> How you say did I do what?" You stupid. Yeah, she she was saying what because she needed to think of an excuse, huh? I, 
What was that? Hit a a idol. Nigga, what is she talking about? (laughs) (laughs) Ain't hit no idol. As soon as you say, hi, excuse me, what did I do? What? You just, you heard what they said. You're lying. Okay. You're lying. And Tim ain't stupid, and I'm glad that he got there. Because you know what? She pulled a kid. She pulled a kid thing. He's a parent. You d- I know your ass been in there eating goddamn cookies. Don't tell me you ain't been in there eating goddamn cookies because you got stuff fingers and all over your teeth. You know you have been in there, and Jim was like, "Huh? What did I did I do? What with the idol?" Hmm? I'm like, girl, he's asking you because he already knows and she played right into it. But I'm glad he backed her ass in a corner like that. I am absolutely glad that he got her ass like that. He ain't stupid. But you didn't you didn't you didn't execute it well enough for her ass to break down and say something. Right. Uh, yeah, because he could have though. Now Nami, Nami tribe hunter is out looking for the idol. Now, and he's she, not hiding it at all. No, no, no. Uh, Venus is trying to look for the idol as well, too, because she, you know, remember, she knew that Brandon left with the um, beware advantage in his pocket. So she knows it's a strong possibility that there's another one that's out there somewhere. Now, while Hunter is out looking for the damn idol, you got Venus literally like a clinger following him everywhere he goes. And she even said in the confessional, I don't care if I'm annoying, so what? I'm going to be right there with you every step you go. If you're going to find the idol, I'm going to find the idol too. Now, see, that would have pissed me off. Me too. I, I would have. Mm, mm, mm. That's very, like, younger sibling. <laughs> that would have, and you better ask my younger sibling. I'll play like that. <laughs> no. well, you go down As a I'm younger out. sibling, I have played like that. <laughs> Ooh, and the older one. Now take your ass back. I, I deserved it. I deserved it. <laughs> my little sister Angie used to do that, and it would work my goddamn nerves. Or she would go to my mom and and plead on my mom, and my mom like, nope, you can't. You can only go to take your sister with you. What? And I'll just be so excited to hang oh. out with my little brother and be, and just be crying and random. <laughs> I just be. And then ready to go cry. Yeah, because as soon as we get there, I'm like, God damn, you, you want to come to the first place. I know. Oh, that one made me so mad. Oh, and God, that is bringing up so much. <laughs> Marcus, if you're watching, I love you. <laughs> so, Marcus, so. If you're watching, I feel you. Yeah. <laughs> right there with it. <laughs> God damn, you motherfucker. <laughs> But good for Hunter, though. Hunter does actually find the beware advantage. Correct. Um, as long as they don't lose no challenges, then he going to be good. I forgot I had this little thing right here. Let me put this up here. As long as they don't lose no challenges or whatnot, then they good, right? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. we actually get to the challenge, and this is a food immunity. As soon as mm-hmm. I see Jeff pull that cover back, I immediately thought to myself, y'all knew? If your ass don't fight, blood, sweat, tears, tooth, nail, and teeth to win this challenge, there is no goddamn hope for y'all. And like none. How are you gonna have two? How are you gonna have two people if you lose this one going into a merge with no flint? No Jeff, rice. Told him Jeff like had to pause. He's like, look here, let, let me let y'all know something. <laughs> Okay, this is this. We making history now. All right, you niggas is going y'all eleven. This gonna be twelve days. Y'all ain't got no fire. Can you at least pinch a bitch? Damn, eleven days. Y'all don't even want to cheat on these damn challenges. He even said, "And who's third place?" Uh, they, y'all knew. Yeah, exactly. It's like y'all that way. Oh, but baby, once the challenge was on, I was a little discouraged at first because, of course, Yanu was falling behind. I wasn't, though. That was the difference. I had a feeling that these three, it was going to make sense because even Banu and that four, it just, I, and it was clear Banu messed up. So I had like, okay, we're at three. They have to, they have to take people off. Yes, yes. So I, had, I felt like they had an advantage. Right. These are strong, athletic people. Mm-hmm. 
I was like, it 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 only makes sense for y'all to win this challenge. <laughs> you have to Please. win this challenge. Please. <laughs> I'm 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 upset. <laughs> I'm on Yanu. I'm on Yanu. Right. Like uh, you I... can't even fool the one goddamn thing. I mean, if you can't win your flint, goddamn. Win a banana or something. I know. Just get the brunch special. Win the brunch special, y'all. Challenge. Once Yanu was in last place at the beginning, I just, I, I was like, I would just throw the whole fucking season away. Throw the whole five away. No, I would have quit. I would have, I would have, I would have did the Tiffany times 10. I would have been a crying. I would have done a tantrum. I said, no, Jeff, you're going to have to drag me. <laughs> like, I would have lost it. I, I just, I just couldn't. I wouldn't have been able to handle. I would have gone off. I would have stolen. <laughs> So finally, they end up, you know, thank God it came down to everything. <laughs> now, per use, uh, was it Nami wins first place? Nami, per yes. Use, Nami wins first place. It came down to Sega. It came down to Tim and, uh, was it Tim and Coach Q? Q. And baby, mm -hmm. I was rooting mm -hmm. for him. Tim almost had it, but finally, Coach Q came through. They end up winning second place, and they celebrated by just passing them. I was so and like Washington. Even, I was like, yeah. I because so last episode when they won the uh, reward challenge and they came back to it was night and day. And I have to say this, Tiffany, on day eleven, eyebrow still on fleek, still got her edges, like just natural beauty mm -hmm. just out here just servant aesthetics on an island kenzie and q look toe up and tiffany just in there just being the sunlight she said kenzie. just glowing just i just couldn't like her face i was like that's 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 sports illustrated swimsuit right there like y'all yeah. need to get her on a runway stat yeah, she's now still, she's still she's still doing it. I am at I'm happy for <laughs> one. I was so 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 damn happy for them. They, I Me too. Them. It was a huge relief. It was just like like I was there at the at doing the damn challenge with them. I was happy now. This is what I didn't quite understand. Now, of course, when it came to the winner, the winning tribe had to pick one person from their tribe, one person from each of the other tribes to go on like the journey. They ended up picking, um, who was it? They picked Hunter from their tribe, Tim from the Sika tribe, and then Coach Q okay. from mm -hmm. the Yalu tribe, which at first glance, those are the three strongest players on, on each side. Mm -hmm. I instantly was like, why? What, what's the strategy behind that? I wouldn't have guessed that, but... I don't know. Well, clearly there was a strategy and I don't know how telepathic uh, Q was <laughs> to Nami because as soon as they all three rolled up, mm -hmm. plotting, already yeah. plotting. Coach Q started it. Yep. This is, what, this, is, this is the thing I don't understand about the plot though. Coach Q's thing was, well, each... This is this would be the alliance, and we'll each make sure we have one strong person that we keep with us, and we'll make it to the final six. And then when we get to the final six, it's each man for himself. That this, huh? I think he was just, just on empty day eleven, and he's just hyped that he just won something. Well, like he was I mean, just. There's energy there. I don't know. I don't know what the plot was behind that, but <laughs> maybe you know, um, somebody will explain what parts were left out of it because I don't get the logic behind that. If anything, maybe they cut it out where he was like, We can make sure we have this one strong person that'll come to help us make it, and then we'll make it to the final three. That's that would make more sense. Like, why would you make a pack? So that you each have one person that you bring with you, and then once we get to the and then break it once we're six, just like I don't know. 
I don't, I don't know. I don't get that. You, there still has to be an alliance within that. How are y'all two right. not going to be your own little alliance right. by the time it's six? Because they said, um, Tim said Maria, Q said Tiffany, Hunter said Tevin. Yeah. But again, I, I, again if somebody's watching- And those are all strong, strong allies. Those are all strong partners for each of these men. I don't, like, I, don't, I don't get the logic behind that. Um, so they they all agree to, I forgot how did it go. One of them has to, you know, take the chance of risking their boat to go on this journey to see if you can solve this puzzle, see if you feel confident <laughs> enough to solve this puzzle. Q didn't want to risk his boat. Um, and I don't believe Tim wanted to because it was a super fan situation, yeah, it was a super fan thing. And like, he was like, I'm a super fan, but I ain't gonna put my super fan knowledge on the line like that. No telling what it could be. Hunter was the one that volunteered, was like, I'm a super duper Uber fan, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, he's thinking in my sleep, I got this on, on my soul, I got this down here to me. So he goes to do the challenge, and it was putting the buffs in line, you know, the banner buffs, like mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. putting the banner buffs in line per season from the first season or however many seasons it was, all the way up. Yeah, the he started off really good, it was strong, he did. He started out, I can honestly say he got way more than I would have gotten. Me too. Yeah, he got eight out of 20. Yep. Yeah, he was way more than I would have gotten in order for damn sure. For damn sure. Now, had it been like certain players in order of season, how they played, now that I probably would have got. Because mm -hmm, I do, mm -hmm. I, I know certain players from certain, you know what I'm saying, seasons or whatnot that I like, and that, I could have done something like that, but the banner buffs in live from season, no. And he didn't finish them all, of course, so he lost his damn vote. But he got that beware advantage. He didn't have no vote any goddamn way. So That's yeah. right. You know what I'm saying? So either way it go, he was asked out. So as long as he don't lose, he's still okay. But as soon as they lose the challenge, hopefully... He will go and he will, you know, dig that up again. He'll find that key. Mm -hmm. And then he'll at least have his, um, he'll at least have a hidden immunity idol. I don't know, will he win? No, because that means he'll live at the next tribal council. So I wonder, will that put a void to him not being able to vote at the next tribal council? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you know, after the merge, right, right, right. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? When you still mm -hmm. not have a vote, or how, how does that work? I don't know. I'm confused about that one as well. But hey, like I said, as long as you don't lose, yeah. where were you at? Nami been doing the big thing. As long as y'all keep with that, that's good. Now, let's see. Tiffany and um, Kenzie. They're back at the um, campsite or whatnot, and I was proud of them. They went on ahead and cut everything up into to, to thirds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got to come home to a nice meal. That's I was right. like, oh, you been out fighting all day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. The man's home. Let, let's let's pick, t pick up your shoes. Take off your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Now back over at five, <laughs> Gemma trying to That's play funny. it off, like um, she's looking for the idol or whatnot. But again, they already know. Pretty much everybody already knows that um, somebody is playing with them. Mm -hmm. Right now, she's got to go back because you know she found that beware advantage. So now she's got to go back and see if she can find the clue to get the hidden immunity idol out of there. Now, this one was a lot more difficult than it was for like Tip. Tips was like gold. And when you see to this Oh, point, that's right. Yeah. Gemma had to get the machete and had to measure out how many machete links it was for the, the, the tribal banner. And then how many machete links it you was. You had to use the Pythagorean theorem <laughs> to figure this like, out. And, <laughs> and subtracting and all of that. I mean, come here for that. And fuck word problems, okay? <laughs> fuck word problems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
We come here for that. Jail probes, you might be difficult problems. Why, uh, who said to put Common Core on Survivor? <laughs> who said that? Who, who said we all know how to do that in the first place, Probsy? God damn. I'm so on the know. island trying to win a million. I, I, if I knew math, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> oh. So we still know that Ben has no vote. Because when he went on the little mission, of, I mean, his journey, he ended up losing his vote from there. But he's cool with Tim. So that's right. Tim is basically, him and Tim is on the, on the same page. So they're going to vote according, or Tim is basically going to vote accordingly. I don't know if Tim, no, no, nobody knows that Ben doesn't have a vote, do they? I don't, I don't think so. I think he's, Ben has done really good. Yeah. Now, the like lady, keeping the poker face going because he's, Charming, funny, safe, I can, now, but not really contributes. Like, okay, go ahead. yeah, Maria and Charlie are basically like the swing votes. Yes, and they I'm are. Good. They are the top two. So wait, I'm sorry. You said Tim was the strongest athletic wise versus Charlie. Athletic wise, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Um, because th those two are the top. Um, Charlie and Maria, like. No, I mean, like, physicality-wise, no. Yes, okay. Except for last week when he kept jumping on the damn buoy. <laughs> like, yeah. damn buoy, he couldn't get I know, <laughs> but that's why you got oh, all that muscle. Charlie, they're basically like the swing vote, and like I said, Maria got the next vote. Now, um, who is it? Mariah and Gemma want to take out Ben because they yes. don't want Ben to make it to the merge because they say he's too charismatic. He gets along with everybody. He can easily get on when when we merge and he can make friends with everybody. And there goes my vote right there. When it comes to shit, I hate when people vote like that. I, I do too. Being I do too. Because that means y'all would vote me out. <laughs> I'm not going to make it, bitch. So <laughs> I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. So what am I supposed to be? Dull? Or just be a bitch to everybody? Be, be, be a bitch, be dull, not talk to anyone, Us be rude to everybody. And we, we, we ain't got it like that. Now, Gemma, she goes out, you know, um, is it Ben? Yeah, I think Ben ends up basically like walking up on her, finding her when she's out there <laughs> trying to look for her um, immunity. Um, Cause she uh, made it, she made it clear to the whole tribe. We, I need to go look, and I'm not talking about yeah, as a family. Not, and the other, so Ben, she goes and basically tries to size up Ben. It's like, who are you voting for? What are you doing? What you gonna do? And Ben had to get his hammer out to to step forward. Get a hammer, bitch! I'm voting for whoever the fuck I want to. That's who I'm gonna goddamn vote for. Fuck you, me! Don't She's just not me. a good player. I don't know what it is, but like since the like Gemma, Gemma was. Not a good player. She no. was just, I don't know. I don't know. She, I don't know. She wasn't even trying to like, like, it's almost like she was saved with the Charlie Angels yeah. Alliance. Yeah. She, was she really that. wasn't making a lot of talk except for yeah. talking about Tim yeah. and trying she to throw the stench off of her. But that's it. When she tried to hide that idol and she didn't have no whole game plan. And I don't know how athletic she was, but I don't know how much she contributed to the challenges. Because no. they wasn't she in this one that they, they lost? Got rid of her. They could have easily got rid of her. And she was in the last four when no. uh in last episode when they lost to Yanu for the reward challenge. Yeah. All right, gotta finish this up because my son is but oh let's That's okay yeah. <laughs> so when it comes down to actual goddamn tribal right they get to the votes and it actually comes down to ben and to Gemma. Gemma doesn't play her hitting a mutiny idol which you went idol. through all that mess oh, you went yeah. through all the math you yeah. and you rushed you rushed you made it possible to just sit there Got all the way to the end, and thank you to Maria for using her extra vote. Gemma is there. Because that's another survivor standard. Use that and leave the damn immunity in your pocket. That was it. <laughs> now I'm going to have to get out of here because my son is right here. I promise I would do something with him before he has to go to bed tonight. Okay. Hey, I nephew. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, yes. 
episode is actually coming on tonight. That's all right. Because we're going to watch it and we're going to have the review to you guys on time next time. Okay. That's it. That part. Anything that you guys are anything that we missed in this, please don't forget, um, don't hesitate whatsoever to drop it down in the comments and let us know. Okay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. Give us feedback, what you like, what you don't like down in the comments below. We and please, like, be honest. All the kind of comments. And who was it I said I wanted to give a shout out to for saying something so kind of us? I believe it was Carmen Williams. Shout out to you, Carmen Williams. You made our day. Love Thank you, guys. you, Carmen. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye -bye. Love y'all.